Okay, so let us look at a word problem which leads us to an equation having variable on both the sides. Now, the problem is Jack is twice as old as Jill. Five years ago, Jack's age was three times Jill's age. Find their present ages. And we have discussed this type of problem earlier and one of the approaches we discussed was to come up with a table of their ages. So we write Jack's age, Jack, we write Jill, and we also write what is their present age, present age, that is the first case, and five years ago is the one that is the second. So um, five years before, five years before, that is the age before five years. Okay, and to make things a bit simpler, we can draw some lines over here, just so that the table is a bit more clearer to us. Now, okay, so we are given find their present ages. Now, first thing is we know that Jack is twice as old as Jill. So, we can assume Jill's age to be unknown. And we will say, let Jill's age be X years. And this is the present age that they have given. It's implied that it's the present age. And therefore, Jack is going to be twice the age of Jill. So we got this first. Now we are told that five years ago, Jack's age was three times Jill's age. But before we apply this condition, what will be their ages five years before? So we just simply subtract five years from both of their ages. So Jack is going to be 2x minus 5 years and Jill is going to be x minus 5 years. Now we are given a condition that is giving a relationship between their ages that was 5 years before, that is these two. We are given that 5 years ago Jack's age was 3 times Jill's age, which means Jack's age 5 years ago was 2x minus 5 and Jill's age at that time was x minus 5 but to make it equal it was 3 times of Jill's age. So this is the equation that we have and you can see that we have come up with an equation that has a variable on both these sides. Now let us proceed to solve this further. So let us first simplify this. So we have 2x minus 5 equals 3 times x minus 3 times 5 or this becomes 2x minus 5 equals 3x minus 15. Now what do we do next? We transpose the 5 that is we move all the constants or the numbers from the left hand side to the right hand side and we try to move the x towards the left hand side so that we can have x1 so let's go step by step so 2x equals 3x minus 15 plus 5 because transposition changes the sign of the number and now we transpose this 3x towards here let us do that so we have 2x minus 3x equals this minus 15 plus 5 minus 15 plus 5 or essentially it is 5 minus 15 now 2x minus 3x gives us minus x that is minus 1x and we have minus 15 plus 5 is minus 10 now we can simplify this equation by multiplying both the left hand and the right hand sides by a negative 1 Okay, so if we multiply both of these by negative 1, so we have minus 1 into minus x equals minus 10 into minus 1 or we will have x equals 10. We know that h cannot be negative. So if you look at this, this is Jill's present age. So Jill is currently 10 years and Jack is 10x, right? So it is, uh, it is 2x. So it is 2 times 10 equals 20 years so that this is Jack's age and Jill's age is 10 years so that was about applying 
a condition in which we have a variable on both sides in an algebraic equation. 